Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey of Mentor Graphics and a member of the DAC PR committee. Today we're here to talk about probably one of the most important questions to answer in advance of the show is, how do I justify taking the time off to go to DAC to myself and how do I justify it to my management? To help me answer this question, I'm here with Dan Bork. He's the co-chair of the Designer Track Committee. Dan, welcome. Thanks, Joe. Uh, excited to be here. Um, we're almost finished with our pro technical program. We're going to go live on the 26th of March, and on that same day, we're going to be live in registration. So hope to see people visit DAC.com website and check out all the content we have. Great. Now, obviously, people are really busy. Uh, it can be a real challenge to approach your manager with a request to even take one day off, let alone several days. So let's start with talking about, you know, what are the valuable things you'll, you'd gain from going to DAC? What would you learn? I love going to DAC. Yeah, I, I get to hear from industry leaders, from my peers, what they're doing to solve my difficult challenges, the ones that I'm facing, and, and I, le I leave DAC knowing more, and it really helps me get my job done. Yeah, and I think one thing to uh, to mention is that DAC is more than just the EDA trade show that, that we're familiar with. DAC's really expanded in scope, right? Yeah, we, we still have the tra traditional EDA content, but we've, extend, we've expanded into automotive electronics, embedded systems and softwares, security, and also IP track as well. Indeed. Now, I also understand there's even training. There's specialized training offered on the Thursday of DAC this year. Yeah, we have the traditional content, but as well, we've been adding over the last couple of years uh, more and more training content. We have Training Thursday, which is basically a lot of really good training sessions that people can attend. And again, go to the DAC.com website and you'll see the program. Now, what about the cost? Let's say you get the time off from your boss. What are some of the costs involved? Well, the good news is free Monday is free, it's still free Monday, but we just have free Tuesday, free Wednesday, free Thursday as well. So it's free every day if you want to come to visit exhibits, come to the keynotes, mm -hmm. um, and, and basically go to some of the uh, receptions. If you want to get uh, more content, for me, Designer Tech is a really cool place to come and see. Uh, we have a lot of really interesting content that we put together, um, and you get access for $95 to the Designer Track and the IP Track. And we have the extended uh, tiered pricing then if you want to go into research track as well for the full conference pass. I understand, and especially at a forum like the designer track, that's for engineers, by engineers. It sounds like a great place for professional networking. Yeah, it's a great place to meet people. We have receptions this year we're going to have at our poster session. We're going to have a reception as well. So really a great day to come and uh, really network it with uh, your peers from your industry. Now, we've covered a lot of material here. What's a... Uh, you know, obviously you go to DAC.com, what are some of the resources there to help summarize the value for yourself and management? Yeah, we have put together a toolkit on DAC.com under registration, really to help summarize what the value is of coming to DAC. There's a letter there that you can use for your employer to talk about the value. Um, we've really made it very easy for you. The cool thing is we have buses that are running from San Jose to uh, Moscone Center um, a couple of times a day. Uh, so it's really easy to come to DAC, okay. we're really, you know, it can be free, so really I think it's well worth a visit. Indeed. So for Dan Bork, I'm Joe Hupsey for DAC TV, and we'll, we'll see, see you at, at DAC. DAC.